Good morning. This is Clarence with Town & Country Ford right here in Bessemer, Alabama. Thank you for watching the video. This is a 2023 Lincoln Aviator in diamond red. It does have a 3.0 liter engine, V6, with 400 horsepower made it to a 10-speed transmission. Uh, just walking around the vehicle, the lines are very clean, highly luxurious vehicle. It is a beautiful vehicle to see in person. Inside the vehicle is the ultimate uh, luxury. So just walking around, first thing you notice up front is that beautiful, typical um, Lincoln logo with the honeycomb grill. Allows a lot of air into that engine um, just to keep that 400 horsepower uh, engine cool. Uh, you can remotely start the vehicle with this key lock it hit this button twice starts your right up and you notice uh when it starts up you probably didn't notice but those side mirrors there are sort of closed down and uh, when you grab the door handle they will uh, open up um on the side here you notice uh lincoln you notice the aviator badge in there it's the only area you'll see the badging this vehicle has been debadged just to add to the luxurious appearance 22 inch rims black alloy spokes ties in nicely with the uh, black mirror caps inside the vehicle if you notice you just grab the inside of the door this handle actually doesn't move but the heat sensor will cause that to open up and get you right in you also can enter the vehicle from this code out here or from your phone as I mentioned earlier you can unlock it as well first thing you notice back here in the back is this beautiful nice uh, ebony roasted interior back here nice console uh, with functions back here as well those buttons will actually open and close that huge panoramic moonroof up top there uh, which we'll get to cup holders in the back you also have uh, LED center stack back here uh, for controls as far as climate goes let's go ahead and start it up or actually wake it up Press this button up here. Get that nice cloud appearance going there. So, back in the back, give you a better appreciation of what you have as far as controls for the rear. These are some of the controls uh, for the rear. You have heated seats, you can change the air quality back here, audio controls, and also you can control that roof opening and closing from right here. Let's go ahead and push this button here, and you'll see up top. That huge Vista Panorama moonroof is opening up there. Press it again. Continue to open up. Beautiful lines in this vehicle. Absolutely exquisite. In the back here, you notice that I can uh, open it from just grabbing the handle or with this button. Open the rear. Nice cargo space in the back. Uh, let's go ahead and raise those seats up So those seats will come up or down Or you can Push a button on one seat goes down if you need the extra space and another person in the back Press on a button that one goes down as well And those seats up front will fold as well to give you even more cargo space Nice matter back here in the back now underneath here. There should be additional storage so underneath here, you have additional storage there as well. Press this button here, or press the key fob and close down. Regular unleaded gas is what you put in here. Um, so let's hop in. That's your actual door handle right there. Push that button. There's not an actual handle that you pull. Just push this button to exit the vehicle. Through a position member seats. Power and power door locks. And as far as the controls on the seats, you have about 28 controls uh, as far as heating position. On the dash up here, again, nice wood terrier, wood grain all the way across. This wood grain is from the same plank of wood. So uh, if you put it all together, it would come from one solid piece of wood, not different uh, wood trim put together. Again, nice beautiful wood grain here a climate control heated seats air conditioned seats you have onboard navigation 
in the vehicle. Lots of other features as well. Uh, you go to settings, you can actually change the uh, colors uh, inside the vehicle. As far as the uh, ambient lighting, press that button. You have seven different lights from inside the vehicle you can set up. You also have surround 360 camera view. So there's a camera in front of the vehicle, behind the vehicle, underneath both side mirrors. It also has blind side warning, uh, which lights the mirror up. And I don't know if you can see that or not, that symbol right there is your blind side, blind side warning there. And it actually uh, will detect items in your blind spot. But at the same time, it will also give you emergency braking if you're backing up and something that's coming from either side, be it a person or a vehicle, bicycle, grocery cart, what have you. If it sees you're not gonna apply the brake as you back it up, it will uh, apply the brake for you. Same thing with forward collision mitigation. Uh, it will prevent you from running into someone with saves on insurance and damage to the vehicle and to life, actually. This is the uh, parking here. So you can act, actually navigate to parking. It will go to a horizontal parking or parallel park, uh, either to a vertical space or a horizontal space. Uh, surround camera. You can change the view of what you're looking at up here. Very nice vehicle. I know this is very brief. Uh, you do have autonomous driving, which means you can actually uh, put this vehicle in a setting where it will center the steering wheel for you, center you in the middle of the road, and you can take the hands off the steering wheel and actually drive it. This button up here is for your voice controls. Cruise control there. You do have adaptive cruise control, and that's your lane center there as far as autonomous driving goes. And this is adaptive cruise control. So again, lots of features in this vehicle. Inside here, uh, you have storage there with USB and Type-C charger. Cup holders on this side over here. Open that up. Nice panoramic vista moonroof. Lots of features in this vehicle, guys. Your controls for reverse and what have you, drive, is all up there. That's your reverse camera, which is different from your all-around camera, the 360 view camera. Just put it back in park, hit that 360 camera, you actually can see that truck there in front, right there. So you can see both sides, back and front, with your 360 camera view. Um, parking brake is here. You can change the various modes here. Pretty nice vehicle. Change the mode from deep condition, heavy snow, mud, slippery, to normal. Back to conserve efficient driving, as well as excite responsive driving. So you can change the drive mode in this vehicle as well. Very nice, luxurious vehicle. Lincoln did not spare on luxury in this vehicle. It's the quintessential essence of luxury and quality. My name is Clarence, 205-580-5874. Thanks.